So here's how to send email campaign in Apollo.io. Apollo.io is a cloud-based sales platform that helps businesses find, connect with, and convert customers. It has options for lead generation, email outreach that we will be looking into today, contact database management, integration, and growth strategies. So if you want to start using Apollo, click on my link in the description. So here on the homepage, you have the option to sign up for free, log in, and get a demo. So we will go ahead and click on sign up for free, and then you can choose to sign up with Google or Microsoft. So I will choose Google and click next. So on this page, you need to choose what's your role. So go through the options and select one and click on continue. On the next page, you can select what would you like to do with Apollo today. You can go through the options and select it or skip if you want. I will go with find leads. On the next page, on the next page, let's go ahead and click skip for now. You will be redirected to this page. Here, click on skip tour. So as you can see, we are now in the Apollo dashboard. Here, you will get to see a lot of information like your email sent, emails delivered, emails opened, emails replied, emails interested, emails bounced. And on the left panel, you have a lot of options under prospect and enrich and then under engage. Also with win and close and tools and automations. So under engage, click on emails. After that, you will be here on the emails page. Here, you will get to see data like total, scheduled, delivered, opened, and clicked. And you'll be able to view all of these information right here. Now, let's go ahead and click on templates. Here, you can see no email templates. So let's go ahead and click on create new template. So as you can see here, we have our email template. You need to put in your name. So I will go ahead and type in the name. After that, you will get to see the option for tax. Here, you can enter or create tax. So write the tax that you want to add, and then it will be added. This way, you can add multiple tax. So go ahead and type in all the tax that you want to put in. And right below it, we have owner. Here is selected as you, but you can also select someone else if you want. Then you have to type in the subject of your email. So type in the subject of whatever email that you want to send out. This will usually be the title of your email campaign. For now, I will type in something random, like Zoom meeting. So once you're done putting in the subject, move on to the next part, which is body. So here, type in all the information that you want to put in for your email campaign. For now, I just copied and pasted it. Next, you have options on the bottom bar right here. Go through the options and use them if you want to use any of them. You can select text and change the fonts of your text. So select whichever font option that you want to use for your body text. This way, you can change around and see which one looks the best. After that, you can set the text size from small, medium, and large. Then you have options like bold, italic, and underline, and also some more options that you can utilize. Then you can click on insert link if you want to put in a link on your body text. So as an example, I will copy this URL. Now select whichever text you want to insert the link into and click on insert link. After that, all you need to do is paste in the link that you just copied or some other link that you want to use. Then paste it. Now go ahead and click on save link. And as you can see, now the text is clickable. This way you can make any text clickable on your body text. Now let's move on to the right side, which is template preview. And as you can see here, you will be able to view your template preview. So to check, I will right click on the link text then open it in a new tab. And as you can see, the link works just fine. And once you're done making all of the changes, you can go ahead and click on save on the top right corner. And here on the email section, you will be able to see your newly created template. Now go ahead and click on people below prospect and enrich. Here, we will click on skip tour. You can go through it for better understanding. And here on the left side, you will get to see a lot of options that you can view. If you click on lists, you'll be able to see options like people, 
companies, and also advanced settings. Here, you can customize different settings for your lists, so go through the other options as well. And now, if you look over to the top right, you will get to see some other options, like relevance, search settings, and also import. So click on import, you will see single contact and CSV. So click on single contact, and you will get to see this option to create new contact. Now, just type in the first name and last name of your contact that you want to add. I will go ahead and type it in. After that, go over to the email section. Here, you need to put in the email address of your new contact. So type in the email and make sure it is correct. So once you're done, go over to the job title section. Fill it up and move on to company name. Here, type in their company name. After that, go over to contact stage. Select it and move on to additional information like account, phone number, and then status. So here, choose the status as verified, questionable, invalid, or no status. Now, click on add a phone number if you want to add contact phones. So go through the other options and put the relevant fields in. Now, once you're done, click on contact custom fields. Here, you can click to add or remove custom contact fields. Now, Click on Save Contact on the top right corner of this pop-up. And after that, you'll be able to see your new contact added right here. Now, just go through all the information and make sure they're correct. You can also go over to the email section and you can copy email, edit email, or delete email. You can also flag it. So make sure all the information here is correct. Now, if you click on the email address provided here, you will get to see more options. So let's go ahead and click on it. And as you can see on the right panel, we will get to see this pop-up. Here it says Write with AI. You can see options like Recipient Info, Product Info. So if you click on each one, you will get to see more options that you can utilize to generate. And on the right, you will get to see this Crafted Email section. Here, you can put in From. After that, you have to CC, BCC, and subject on the bottom. So if you click on CC, you will have the ready options selected. Then on the BCC, you will get the same options as well. Here you can see additional tools and then the subject box. So now if you click on load existing templates, you will get to see the template that you just created. So select it and the template will be used on this drafted email. Then you will see the text that we added earlier is here as well. So once you're done, just click on send now. And that is exactly how to send email campaign in Apollo.io.